So both of you have been a attacking this idea from kind of different directions. And uh, one of the one of my favorite quotes, and I don't know who said it, is that design is creation with constraints. And I feel like both of you have taken on a set of constraints that's very interesting. And I really would like to just dive into what's your process? Like, how do you set your constraints? What are your goals? And what is the approach that you start taking to start working on those goals? Um, Tommy, why don't you go first? Well, I, I, well, okay. I mean, maybe I should outline this by saying uh, this latest project that I've been working on, this is really the first time where I had like some really solid constraints. Like mm -hmm. this 250 gram rule is, is pretty apparent kind of like everywhere, everywhere really. Uh, before this, everything was just more like, I just wanted to feel a certain kind of way. I want it to be a certain level of durability. Um, and this is really the first time it was like, well, this is kind of a hard rule and I can't really do anything else to change. Everything else is like, if it felt not quite as much as I wanted, well, okay, not, not that big of a deal. <laughs> durability, that's kind of like everyone's own perception on that. So that's kind of hard also. But 250 grams is 250 grams. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it, you just, there's no other way around it, right? Yeah. Um, so for me, it was really just like trying to figure out how can I get the best flying experience, which for me is, is five inch. And, and I think, Bob, you can agree. I don't know what it is about five inches, but five inches is, there's just something really satisfying about flying the five inch with that little bit of weight and being able to throw it around and hundred percent not going to clip that out of context. I <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny as, as that was coming out, I was just like, Oh my God. <laughs> I haven't, I wasn't even thinking that my girlfriend's been in Korea for the past two months and I wasn't even thinking of that. <laughs> And then, you know, it, I find it kind of hard to talk about FPV drones without not accidentally <laughs> yes. talking about inches and yes. not just putting yes. yourself into this whole thing. Right. But hey, you know what? Whatever. It's the internet. Y'all could take it. Yeah. Run with it. Five inches. Eight I love five millimeters. inches. <laughs> millimeters. <laughs> Metric. Metric system. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Let's pull us back in. Um, <laughs> I, right, I don't so, know how to come back from that right now. <laughs> you, Tommy, what you're saying is you like the five inches and it, yeah, it yeah, feels okay, a certain right. way. Yeah, like, okay, like, so for me personally, and, and you know, every, everybody is different. And I know that a lot of this is just maybe because, like, when I got into this hobby, a mini quad was a five inch, you know, FPV drum. Yeah, yeah. And, and we just worked so hard at making this five inch thing work well because before that, like my very first drone was this 10 inch ADS 400. Yeah, I don't know if you guys even know what that is. Yeah, yeah. But like you, your parts selection was so limited. You could pick like <laughs> one of three motors and that was it. And then like your transmitter was something that was actually made for like a wing. So you kind of had to work with that. And because you're trying to put it into this tiny little compact thing where on a wing, everything's separated. Mm -hmm. So you had to, you had to learn how to use an LC filter. You had, you, there's just all kinds of things to make it. Right. work you know what i mean and and i don't know like eventually you got it to this thing where it was flying really awesome and uh i mean you can't really you can't go against physics like something that weighs 550 grams 600 grams just won't weigh the same as 250 grams and if you want to take a scientific approach to this like what we're talking about is for me at least kinetic energy right the ability for me as a freestyle freestyler like i like the ability to, to toss things and throw things mm -hmm. and at the end of the day that's connected kinetic energy which is if i'm not mistaken half times mass times velocity squared somebody just correct me if i'm wrong so so you have this this these two variables where the mass is being halved by once by by half or half whatever i i'm, I'm messing acceleration with or whatever it's just, yeah. right right and then you got the velocity which is exponentially going you know by a factor of two and so it's just a matter of like, can you can you play with these two variables in a way to kind of get you as close to it as possible? I'm not still going to sit here and tell you that it's going to feel the same. It's just it's just mm -hmm. physically, scientifically, mathematically not going to work out that way. But like, there's things that you can do to trying to bring other characteristics out of it. Like, 
I'm working on this 250 project now. And one of the things that I'm learning is like, okay, it doesn't get me the same exact like throwability, but I can get something similar if I just stay on the throttle a lot longer. But one of the things that I can do is stop like <laughs> at an inch. Like I couldn't do that with it's like my- It's different, my it's different. Yeah. yeah, it's different. And so you just kind of learn to make the best out of that and you start to exploit these things that it starts yeah. to do better than the other thing and it becomes a different thing to fly that that in my opinion is equally as fun. <clears throat> mm -hmm. now bob your your approach like we like i said is far different i mean you showed me and if i can't talk about this tell me not no to. you can talk it's fine it's so you showed me this video now it's it's dvr goggle dvr yeah i'll give it to you you can put it in here okay like, so i watch this and even though it said one s what 55 gram 55 gram three inch all 55 gram inch. three inch it flew like a, i mean if you yeah, had, if you had handed me that and said this is my highly tuned five inch yeah. i would have been like oh it flies really well yeah it's it's <clears throat> mind-boggling that you can get that kind of performance out of a, a stick of gum like a bubble gum sized battery it's ridiculous um i was oh i mean we're all for some reason obsessed with the microscopic ability to fly around the mosquito like we all mm -hmm. want to fly around the mosquito like a whoop that's a mosquito sized and uh i just want the smallest package that gives me the most at the actual most fun and satisfaction of flight that I can get. And it just evolved to this point where I've just kind of customized every component to maximize everything about it and really just get the smallest, lightest, least intrusive craft that performs as well as it could possibly perform with the technology that we have today. And it had nothing to do with weight, had nothing to do with anything else just the fact that I'm trying to get the lightest, smallest, simplest item that performs as well as it possibly can. Because at the end of the day, I don't actually fly like for fun that often because it's just mm -hmm. annoying to take all this crap with me. Even though I have one bag that has everything in it, I just pick it up and go. It's just a lot of work that when I have like a little whoop or something, you just go and you don't have to can, think. Can yeah. I derail this for a quick second? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You just yeah. said something that really resonates with me. And you said you don't fly for fun. You haven't flown for fun in a while. Can I ask you I when do. that might have happened? <laughs> because I, mean, because was... I, don't, I don't remember the last time I flew for fun. <laughs> and I'm yeah. kind of just curious when this little transition happened for you. Oh, when the transition happened? Like four years ago? It's like when you started to like try to go for something and, and because like you're putting out content, it... it Oh, oh, that, yeah. I, st I mean, I, I still have fun flying around. I, like, I, I, you do content times a million. Like, I don't do what you do. You're, like, way beyond what I do. I still just have fun with it. But I also, like, I'm, I do more working than I do just flying for fun so that when I do go fly for fun or when I do need it, it's going to be perfect. Like, it's going to be yeah. as good as it could possibly be without me trying at all. <laughs> 